Okay, this is the session number two of this second, uh, I mean, this uh, week number three. We are in the middle of this uh, week, so we are going to uh, continue with the topic that we were developing yesterday, and also uh, we are going to see some practices. We are going to see um, new information. We are going to make a review because in this case, we need to make a review of a specific topic. In this case, is a topic related to some structures. Uh, we are going to remember the information of these structures uh, because uh, we already learned something about these kind of questions. And uh, we are going to see something else. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. So in this case, uh, we have already a topic that we were developing yesterday. That is the topic of like and dislikes. And um, you know that we were talking about different things that we like and different things that we don't like. And also we are uh, talking about personal um, preferences and we were talking about music and we were talking about entertainment. Um, and in this case, we are going to continue from that part because we are talking about entertainment. And you know that we have um, a document in which we have this information. And in this case, we are going to make like a review of the topics that we were um, talking about yesterday. So in this case, we have this part. There is the information about the things that we like and the things that we don't like. Um, and in this case, we were talking about music. We were talking about the different kind of music that people likes in the United States. And also we were making um a comparison between the kind of music that we listen in our country. And you know that we found that we have like many tropical sounds that we prefer to listen. And we can say that uh, those sounds are better um, for us because we need to, to have this kind of energy and we use this kind of music uh, when we are working, when we need to do the course of the house. In this case, we are talking about uh, cleaning the house, um, maybe doing the laundry and so many things because we are like a very... Uh, familiar with this kind of sounds since we were like children. And then we have uh, the other question that is talking about your personal um, preferences about music. And in this case, we were talking about the music that you listen. And we have the different kind of music. Also, we were talking about this part that is the entertainment. Uh, we were talking about the TV programs, the movies, the music. And we have different elements here, different kind of music, different kind of movies, different kind of TV programs that can we um, we watch and we prefer to see when we are uh, watching television. Then we have the last part that is the, um, the exercise in which we are going to explain the different things that we like and we don't like referring to food, weather, activities, color, and animals. But in this case, we're not going to do it right now. We are going to uh, do it in the middle of the, uh, the session. Esta actividad no la vamos a hacer en este momento. Vamos a dejarla para la mitad de la sesión para cuando esté la mayoría, ¿verdad? De los participantes. Because we are going to listen the things that you like and the things that you don't like. And now we are not uh, the whole thing. So in this case, we were talking about the things that we like and the things that we don't like. And we have an exercise. We are going to begin with this exercise. We are going to have this image here that is talking about likes and dislikes. But let me see if I can put here this image. Like this. We have different elements here. We have um, 
three or four different people. In this case, we have Paul, we have Emma, we have Pam and Sue. Tenemos aquí a cuatro personas diferentes and we are going to see uh, this image because we are talking about fruits in this case. We're not talking about music. We're not talking about uh, movies. We're not talking about TV programs. We are talking about fruits. So we can uh, see what are the fruits that Paul likes and the fruit that Paul doesn't like. We uh, are seeing also uh, the kind of uh, fruits that Emma likes, the kind of fruit that she doesn't like, and also we are like seeing the fruits that uh, Pam and Sue like and dislike. You need to um, take a couple of minutes to see this image, and then we are going to have like uh, like a couple of exercises related to this information. Así que vamos a tener un par de minutos para analizar esa imagen para recordar cuáles son las frutas que les gustan a estas personas y cuáles no. And then we are going to have a short exercise. So, let's analyze the information. Let's see what are the fruits that they like. They, and then we are going to remember um, the fruits that they are like marking in this uh, chart. So let's have like two minutes. I think it's enough. Just two minutes to remember this information. Okay, we have the two minutes to remember this information. So we are going to see what are the two activities that we are going to perform right now. So in this case, we have these three. There are three, but we are going to um, do it one by one. I'm going to do it like this. I think I'm going to do it kind of bigger. I think like this. Okay. In this case, we are going to focus on answer the question. That is the first part that we are going to answer. Answer the question. And we have eight questions. What does Paul like? What does Emma like? What do Pam and Sue like? What doesn't Paul like? What doesn't Emma like? What don't Pam and Sue like? What do Paul and Emma like? And what do Paul Pam and Sue don't like. Aquí van a ser eh, 
tres ejercicios de eh, práctica oral. So in this case, we are going to practice saying the answers for these uh, questions. In the number one, we are going to answer the uh, questions because I'm going to say your name and you are going to tell me the answer. In the second table or in the second part of this exercise, you are going to complete the sentence with the information from the table. You are going to say Emma likes and you are going to say what are the fruits that Emma likes. And then you are going to say, for example, Emma likes oranges, peaches, bananas, and apples, but she doesn't like uh, grapes. Um, what more? Uh, maybe um, tangerines, nor um watermelon for example and then we have she doesn't like and Paul likes vamos a ir explicando verdad por eso necesitamos recordar la información de el de la parte donde teníamos eh, marcadas las frutas para poder hacer estos tres ejercicios y luego vamos a dar respuestas cortas and in this case we have question with do Does Paul like apples? You are going to say, yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does Emma like pears? Yes, she does. No, she does. I mean, no, she doesn't. Do Pam and Sue like oranges? Does Emma like strawberries? Does Paul like grapes? Do Paul and Emma like watermelon? And does Paul like bananas? So we're going to have the first one. Vamos a tener... Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know what happens right now with Zoom because it just take me away. So I need to say. Oh, I think that we have a problem with Zoom. So give me a moment. Okay, I think that um, we are having some troubles with uh, Zoom because I, I am not just the the only uh, person that is having problems. I have uh, messages from other uh, teachers that have the same problem. So I don't know what is happening with Zoom right now. I think that maybe it's related to um, a technical problem or, or, or something like that. Um, But we are here uh, again, so we are going to continue hoping that some is not going to take us away again. So we are going to continue right now. So I was saying that we are going to complete these exercises. But for this one, I think that we are going to have um the image, I think. Voy a tratar de mandarles la imagen al grupo para que la tengan ahí. Eh, para que puedan ver la información. 
And then uh, we are going to answer this uh, question that we have here. So I'm going to add the image. But right, give me a second. Okay, give me a moment. I'm going to stop this. Vamos a detener eso porque voy a agregar la imagen. Um, but I need the PDF. So in this case, you're just going to have the the information uh, about the kids, and then we are going to answer these questions. Because you're going to have the questions on the um on the screen and you're going to have like the chart on the group of WhatsApp. So you are going to see uh, the whole thing. Okay, you have the chart there on the group, it's charging, and you are going to have it right now. So you have the image there. Okay. Ahí tenemos la imagen. Ahora vamos a pasar a la parte de las questions. Okay. So we are going to have a couple of minutes to see what are the best option or the best answer for this exercise. So you can uh, look at the chart and uh, look for the information that we are um, asking or searching on these uh, questions. Vamos a tratar de revisar el cuadro con la información que tenemos en, eh, en la tabla y luego vamos a responder estas preguntas. I'm going to give you five minutes. Vamos a tener cinco minutos para revisar tabla, para revisar cuáles son las preguntas, eh, qué es lo que me piden estos ejercicios. Then I'm going to ask you eh, one by one the different eh, information that we have on this exercise. So we have just five minutes and then we are going to begin with the practice.
Okay, it's time to answer the questions. We are going to begin. Okay, in this case, let's see. I'm going to use this one. We're going to begin with Susana. Good evening. Good evening. Your question Hi. is the number. <laughs> Hello. Your question is the number one. What does Paul like? Uh, Paul likes apple, bananas, mm. and orange. Oh, okay. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Next one. Roxana. Good evening. Good evening. This is your question. What does Emma like? Emma like um banana. Mm -mm. Do you have that information on the image? Let me show you here. What does Emma like? Oh, apples. Ah, she likes apples. What else? Uh, orange. Mm, ah, no, um, este, strawberry. Oh, okay, strawberries. Okay, thank you. Next one, Oscar Guillermo. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Your questions. Or, or in this case, just one. What do Pam and Sue like? And Sue like what um, kind of fruits? Pears. Okay, pears. Strawberry. Strawberry or milk. Oh, excellent. Thank you. Very good. Next one, Mercedes. Good night, teacher. Good night. This is your question. What does St. Paul like? Apples, bananas, orange, and orange. Okay. Um, but in this case, it's the things they don't like. So in this case, it's pears, it's strawberries, grapes, and watermelon. Thank you. Next one. Let's see. Magali. Hello, teacher. Hello. What Don, Pam, and Sue likes? Okay, they they don't like mm -hmm. apples, mm -hmm. bananas, and grapes. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Jose Jimenez. Hey, good evening, teacher. Uh, good evening. In this case, we're going to use the question number eight. 
What do Paul, Pam, and Sue don't like? Um, um, uh, Pam, um, she like the pure peers. Mm -hmm. Um, or pill the apples. Ah, they don't like apples. Yeah. Um, she like orange mm -hmm. too for palm and watermelon. Okay, Paul doesn't like watermelons and Pam and Sue doesn't like grapes. Excellent, thank you. <laughs> Okay, in this case, we are going to see the second one, the second part, because we are going to use some of these questions. And in this case, we have Johnny. You are going to tell me what are the fruits that Emma likes and the fruit that she doesn't like. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Repeat me, please. Okay, in this case, um, the fruits that Emma likes and the fruits that Emma doesn't like. We have the example on this table. Okay, give me a second. Okay. The Emma like is apple, mm -hmm. pear, strawberry. He don't like this banana and orange. Oh, thank you. Excellent. So in this case, we have a uh, different elements that we can see. And also you can uh, see how to use this information. Um, when we are like talking with someone, we can have this kind of question. What does, a, in this case, Paul like? What does Paul likes? In this case, a, talking about food. And we can answer like this. Paul likes to eat. Paul likes and say the name of the fruits. Or in this case, we can say also the name of food, a very specific food. We can also make some list, like in the second part. Um, for example, um, Pam and Sue like a, what different elements. In this case, we have the information acá. In this case, Pam and Sue like pears, strawberries, oranges, and watermelon. But they don't like apples. They don't like bananas and grapes. So we can make like a list of things. For example, um, when I am talking with someone, I can say, um, I like to eat apples, watermelon, uh, oranges, tangerines, and grapes, but I don't like to eat uh, mangoes, um, strawberries, cherries, or something like that. We can make lists of different things that we like or different things that we don't like. And in the last part of this first activity, we have short answers. In this case, we're not using open question. We are using closed question. And in this case, we're just going to answer yes, no. Does Paul like apples? ¿Le gustan a Paul las manzanas? Yes, he does. Then, does Emma like pears? A Emma le gustan las peras? Yes, she does. Next one, do Pam and Sue like oranges? Mm, yes, they they do. Aquí ya cambiamos porque estamos utilizando el does. Yes, they do. Um, does Emma like strawberries? Mm, let's see. Yes, she does. Um, does Paul like grapes? No. He doesn't. No le gustan las uvas. Um, next one. 
Eh, do Paul and Emma like watermelon? A Paul y a Emma le gusta la sandía. No, they don't like. In this case, we're going to use they uh, because we are talking about the two of them. And the last one, does Paul like bananas? ¿Le gustan las bananas a Paul? Eh, yes, he does. He does like the bananas. A él le gustan las bananas. Very good. Next one is this. But in this case, we are just going to uh, say the verb to like in present simple to positive and negative forms. So in this case, you are going to see these sentences. We have eight sentences and you are going to tell me. You uh, have a very easy way to know in which cases you are going to use the positive and negatives. Aquí ya tenemos ahí, ¿verdad? En un chequecito, en una X, ya sabemos dónde vamos a colocar los positivos y los negativos. The thing is, you are going to tell me the present simple form of this verb. Aquí vamos a fijarnos muy bien en el sujeto que está realizando esta acción. Sí, lo vamos a utilizar con regla de tercera persona, no lo vamos a utilizar con regla de tercera persona, y si es negativo o positivo. So, for this example, or for this exercise, you are going to have um, four minutes, just four minutes. You are going to see uh, the sentences, you are going to read the information, and then you are going to tell me what is the best option for each of these sentences. So, Let's read the uh, exercise and then we are going to answer.
Okay, we're going to say what are the options for these uh, statements. So in the first case, we're going to move a little bit here and we're just going to uh, write the answers. In the first one, Paul, apples, but he, watermelon. ¿Cómo quedaría esa oración? Paul likes, Paul likes apples, but he doesn't watermelon. Okay, in this case, the verb like is with the third person rule, right? So we have likes and the next one, what is you said? Doesn't. Ah, very good. Doesn't like. So the sentence said, Paul like. likes apples, but he doesn't like watermelon. Very good. Ya tenemos la primera. Vamos con la segunda. Emma is strawberries, but she oranges. Emma likes like strawberries, like. but she doesn't like orange. Ah, okay. Again, the same thing. The rule of the third person. Emma likes strawberries, but she doesn't like oranges. Number three, Pam and Sue Tears, but they grapes. Like, like, and don't like. Ah, very good. Don't they like. They don't like. Excellent. Pam and Sue like strawberries. I mean beers, but they don't like grapes. Number four. Emma apples, and she also pears. Likes. Likes. Ah, likes and likes. Very good. Emma likes apples and she also likes pears. Excellent. Number five. Paul and Emma apples, but they watermelon. Like and don't like. Like. Mm -hmm. Like and don't like. Okay. Paul and Emma like apples, but they don't like watermelon. Number six, Emma, Pam, and Sue, bananas. Don't like bananas. Don't like. Excellent. Don't like. Number seven, Emma, bananas, and she also watermelon. Doesn't, Doesn't like. like. Doesn't like. Doesn't like. Doesn't like. Ah. Watermelon. Very good. It doesn't like, and again, doesn't, doesn't like. like. Excellent. Doesn't like and doesn't like. And the last one, number eight, Pam and Sue, peers, and they also have strawberries. Like and like. Okay, like and like. Pam and Sue like beers and they also like strawberries. Excellent. Now, in this case, I, I'm going to uh, have this exercise for you. You are going to practice with this one. And if you can see, we have a positive statement and you are going to transform that positive statement into a negative sentence in into an interrogative sentence. So you, in this case, you are going to practice the information you already know about this topic. But this is just for a practice. For example, in the first one, Sandra likes apples. I need to transform this sentence into a negative one. And I can say, Sandra doesn't like apples. Okay. And for an interrogative question, does Sandra likes apples like mm -hmm. that? So you're going to like just practice um, with this exercise. It's just for you. And let's see, we're going to move to the next one. So in this case, we are going to have a short review of the yes, no questions, uh, also WH questions with the auxiliary do. For this one, we are going to go to the platform for a second.
Vamos a ir a la plataforma un momento. And we are going to listen to this information. But remember, this one is just like a review. Solo es para recordar esta información. Let's see. At the end of this lesson, participants will be able to ask questions in simple present using do and does along with WH question words. We will get ready to ask two types of questions, yes no questions and WH questions. On your notes, please jot down both auxiliaries as we go over them. Remember we use these auxiliaries for simple present tense in questions and negative answers. Yes, no, and WH questions with do. Do you like rap? Yes, I do. I like it a lot. No, I don't like it very much. What kind of music do you like? I like rock a lot. Does he play the piano? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. What does he play? He plays the guitar. Do they like the Beatles? Yes, they do. They love them. No, they don't like them very much. Who do they like? They like you, too. Object pronouns. Me. You. Him. Her. It. Us. Them. Did you notice? Both auxiliaries, do and does, do, does. Did you notice the changes that occurred when we used the auxiliary in a question for third person singular? Thus, he play the piano. If not, play the video again until you understand it. Keep in mind that whenever we use does, the verb goes back to its base form. Something I want you to understand is when the question being asked uses a WH question word, it means we need more information when answering. In this class, as already mentioned, we're talking about two kinds of questions. Check it out. You like Madonna? Yes, I do. No, I don't. What does she sing? She sings pop music. Okay, in this case, we have the information related to the questions in which we are using the auxiliary do and does. This information is the same thing that we were talking um, a couple of topics uh, ago. So in this case, we have this information that is related to uh, how can we use the auxiliary. In this case, it is related to the way we use the rules. Aquí también se aplica lo de las reglas. Cómo utilizamos este, eh, este auxiliar, ¿verdad? Siguiendo las reglas de la tercera persona, de los singulares, de los plurales, and all of that information. So that's why we have this kind of information. When we were talking about questions, we were talking about um, the first type of questions are the question with the verb to be. Uh, then we were talking about questions with um, do that are these kind of questions. So in this case, we have the following structure. We are going to use the auxiliary do at the beginning of the statement, like we have on the first part. Do you like rap? Does he play the piano? Do they like the Beatles? Ahí tenemos la estructura que vamos a seguir, ¿verdad? Con estas eh, questions with do. Siempre va a ir el auxiliar al principio o el verbo to be al principio o la WH question al principio de la oración. Hacemos esos pequeños cambios. Ya que normalmente cuando tenemos una pregunta, una oración or something like that, 
uh, we use the subject at the beginning of the sentence. But in this case, we are going to change a little bit the things and we are going to create these kind of questions. So we have two possible uh, ways to answer this question. Number one is the positive, number two is the negative. Number, number one said, yes, I do, I like it a lot. Number two, no, I don't like it very much. Tenemos esa pregunta, do you like rap? Y tenemos dos posibles respuestas. La positiva, la negativa, and we can add a little bit of information. Then we have the second question. Does he play the piano? Again, we have two possible answers. But in this case, we are focusing on short answers. Aquí solo nos enfocamos en las preguntas, eh, I mean, en las respuestas cortas. Does he play the piano? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. And in the third one, do they like the Beatles? Yes, they do. They love them. No, they don't. Eh, they don't like very much. Igual, aquí tenemos respuestas bastante concisas, bastante claras. Y por acá tenemos, what kind of music do you like? Aquí estamos utilizando el auxiliar como tal, como auxiliar, ya que nuestra pregunta o nuestra palabra principal para la pregunta es la WH word. What kind of music do you like? ¿Qué tipo de música te gusta? I like rock a lot. What does he play? ¿Qué está um, tocando? Ah, he plays the guitar. Very, eh, like, um, they are giving just enough information, not a lot of information. Next one. Who do they like? Who do they like? ¿A quién eh, o a qué persona les gusta? They like you too. Les gusta you too. That is the, the person that they like. And then we have the object pronouns. The object pronouns help us with the information and with the answers. In this case, the object pronouns are me, you, him, her, it, us, and them. So in this case, we can use them for answering some question. But give me a second. Okay, I'm sorry. It was like a lot of uh, noise. So that's why I turned off the, the microphone. So I was saying that in this case, we can like use these object pronouns uh, when we are like making or answering some questions. And we are going to see something related to this one because we have a practice related to this information. And is this one that we are going to complete this short um, conversation. And in this short conversation, we are going to use the uh, auxiliary do, but also we are going to use this one. There are the object pronouns. También vamos a utilizar algunos object pronouns y algunas otras palabras para completar esta conversación. So, you are going to read this conversation and then we are going to construct the uh, information that we have for this one. So read the information, read the conversation and decide what is the best option or which words are you going to use for each part. So read them and then we are going to answer.
Okay, don't worry. We are almost at the end. That's okay. You're welcome. Okay, in this case, we are going to begin reading this in, uh, conversation, but without the auxiliary or the extra word that we are going to uh, look to complete this conversation. So, in the first sentence, we have, you like science fiction movies? So, in this case, we're seeing that this one is a question. Then we have the answer. That is a negative one. No, I, I don't like very much. Then Jake and Lisa like soap operas. Another question. I think Jake, but I don't know about Lisa. Why don't you ask? And we have a missing word. Next one. What of music Noriko and Ethan like? We have another question. They love classical music. Noriko really likes Jojo Ma. And then we have the last question. He play the the solo. I have his new CD. Let's listen to. So for the first one, what is the word that we are missing to make this you. question? Oh, do do you like science fiction movies? And the answer, no, I don't. Very good. I no, I don't. I don't like what? Mm, we're talking about science fiction movie. It's, ah, it's, it's very good. I don't like it very much. Or in this case, we can change and we can say, I don't like them. Podemos utilizar también este. I don't like them very much. Porque estamos hablando de todas las películas mm -hmm. en general. So we can use both. Okay. Um, then, next one. Jake and Lisa like soap operas. What is the uh, word that we are using here? Das. Do. Das. Das. Are you sure that is das? Das. Do. Do. Das. No, it's okay. not das. Because we have two. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Sorry. And Jake and Lisa. Yes, we have Jake and Lisa, so we have two people. Do Jake and Lisa like soap operas? I think Jake, what? This is positive. Like. Another word. The auxiliary, the auxiliary, but in third person singular. Does. Ah, very good. I think Jake does, but I don't know about Lisa. When do you ask? Them. Them. Excellent. Why do you? Why don't you ask them? ¿Por qué no les preguntas, verdad? Because we are not sure. Next one. What of music? ¿A qué nos referimos? Kind. Excellent. What kind of music? What? Do. Do? Ah, very good. Do. What kind of music do Noriko and Ethan like? ¿Qué tipo de música media, media de artista, les gusta a ellos media de artista, dos? Next one. That is the last one. Uh, we're talking about uh, classical music and Jojo Ma. So, what is the word that we are missing here? Well, in this case, it's kind of... Uh, Does he have, play? No, we have two words. Two words. What? 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 What does he play? Aha, uh -huh. what does he play? Que es lo que toca él. En este caso, está hablando de que toca el cello. So, 
I think that we are complete. Uh, we have, let me see, another uh, activity. But in this case, we are going to do it tomorrow because we are going to read a text. And I'm going to make you some questions. But in this case, you cannot find the questions on the document, but we can find uh, the other two exercises. So you can look um, to the document and you can see what are the other two activities that we are going to complete tomorrow related to the, the, um, the auxiliary do or the questions with do. But we are going to do the reading part tomorrow and we are going to answer some questions. So we are going to end the session here and we are going to see each other tomorrow. So have a really good night and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See tomorrow. you. Good night. See you. Have a good night. Have a good see night. You. Thank you. See you. For... You're welcome. Oh. Bye bye. Bye.